Hey folks, Völker, people, Leute, welcome back to my channel. Remember the Danish quiz that I recently took? The one with all the German phrases that you can't literally translate? Anyway, I found another quiz on that website. It's called the German quiz and it asks me how German are you? I want to know. You know I know I'm very German, sausage chip for breakfast and everything like that. But that quiz might tell me that I'm not even German, but I don't know, I, I will pass this test. Link to the quiz is in the description below. Let's get down to quizness. Question one. You at my house and very durstic, thirsty. I place a glass of liquid in front of you. You observe it closely and notice it does not appear to be fizzing. What do you do? Germans love fizzy drinks, you know. Why would a liquid need to fizz? <laughs> not totally. Say I'm sorry, but my shawl appears to be kaput. That could be quite. Drink it, but make a mental note to defend me. Yeah, could do that too. Short circuit like a robot that's been asked the question, what is love? <laughs> okay, it appears to me that there are more correct questions. And maybe you don't have to pick the correct one, but the one that is most correct. Because the last three, they're all fine. Uh, Actually, I would probably short circuit like a robot that's been asked the question, what is love? <laughs> oh, score four, so yeah, it must have been at least a little bit correct. Despite eight years of English in, the sk in school, a year's exchange to the US, 97% of your music collection being English, and considering Stephen Fry as your lovable honorary uncle, when a tourist asks you, excuse me, do you speak English? How do you answer? Nine, yes, a little bit. Wie bitte? Wir sind hier in Deutschland, hier muss man Deutsch sprechen. Well, I have to be honest, you know, I would say yes, so because there's only one yes, I have to yes a little bit. Oh, it's correct. Okay, good, good. I have deliberately misaligned this question four pixels. Now the font is getting bigger. Wait, now the color changed. It's madness. Not at all, I embrace chaos. Yes, a little bit. A lot. Ordnung, please. Fix it, I'm freaking out here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't look nice. Um, fix it. Fix it. Freaking fix it. 12 points. Someone says an opinion you don't agree with. How are you most likely to respond? Das ist doch unlogisch. Das macht aber keinen Sinn. But yeah, uh, that's like German stuff, you know. It's not logical. Doesn't make sense. Your opinion is interesting. Here is mine. Totally unpractical. Um, if I don't agree, if I don't agree with someone, I would probably say, yes, your opinion is interesting, but here is mine, and that mine is better, you know, my opinion is better. Oh, that wasn't very German, apparently. Hmm. Okay, what name is your Facebook account under? Facebook, seriously, Prism is just a shape, you know, wake up people, that's probably a German, that's very German. Your name? But divide in some way like Antje. Oh, oh yeah, a lot of Germans do that. A lot of German, I, and I, I freaking hate it. I hate it. A pseudonym, yeah, could also be your real name. I use my real name. I use my real name. I'm starting to think that I'm not very German. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which of the following adjectives best describes relationship to recycling? Yeah, we, we Germans. I wouldn't say we love recycling, but there is quite some recycling. Reluctant, passionate, dedicated, overzealous. That's probably the most German. But I would say dedicated in my case. I'm not very passionate about it, but at least I do it. 17. Oh. A female friend has purchased a new skirt. She models it for you. You don't like it very much. What do you say? I'm not sure if Germans are, do have a different way of saying that than other nations, but he's nice. How much did he cost? He? The skirt? Yeah, because skirt is male in German, you know? I heard it's supposed to rain tomorrow. That's very 
typish, typical, isn't it? No, please not. Nah, I wouldn't say that. That's the that screams for a disaster. Saying that to your girlfriend. A skirt short is totally unpractical. Um, I would probably say it's nice. How much does it cost? Do you really want to pay all this money for this skirt that doesn't look good on you? That that's probably what I would say. Huh. Hmm. Only one point. Why is in your local egg kneipe? It's a corner pub. Someone nearby lights a cigarette from a candle. What is the correct response? So whoa. Loudly chastise them for killing sailors. Yes, because at least in Germany you say that a sailor dies whenever you light a cigarette from a candle. But I think other nations do that too. Sigh and shake your head. Both of the above. None of the above. I would probably say none of the above because I don't believe that a sailor dies when you do that. But because I don't like people smoking nearby when I'm in a pub, I would probably do sigh and shake my head. I know. Smokers watching this video would just hate me now. 20 points. While casually discussing the movie Slumdog Millionaire, your conversation partner mistakenly states the movie's release date is 2007 when you know for a fact that it was 2009. I don't know if it was 2009, but what do you do? Nothing. It was just a simple mistake. No, never. You have to correct someone when he's wrong. Nothing. But you make a mental note. I don't need to read this. Klugscheiß them. Yes. Immediately interrupt and say, I think you'll find the movie was released in 2009. If I'm not mistaken, on the 19th of March at 3 p.m. Silently turn and walk away, this conversation is done. Well, that's, that could also be something, you know. Don't, don't waste your time with people who don't know shit. Okay, Klugscheiß them. And I'm pretty sure that's German. Oh, only three points. Last question. You're meeting a male friend for the third time. You're considering your relationship with them to be ziemlich good, like relatively good. How you agree each other? The handshake, the hug. The hug shake, an indecisive combination of both the handshake and the hug, beginning first with handshake and changing mind, mid shake, morphing the greeting into a stiff hug that squishes the shaking hands in between you. Ghetto fouls. I don't use the ghetto fouls. Uh, male friend for the third time. Handshake. Hug is for close friends. Good, good. And even then, I'm not pretty sure. Get to Faust, no. Handshake. I would use the handshake. Whoa, 26 out of 40 points. That doesn't sound very German to me. Not so bad, you scored 26 out of 40 points or 65%. You are officially 1% more German than the average. Uh, considering that not that a lot of non-Germans took that quiz, I'm, yeah, I'm not very German then. I'm disillusioned. But I've lived abroad, I've lived abroad, you know. Um, I love Germany. Please, Germany, don't send me away, even though I'm only 1% more German than others. Uh, yes, so I have to think about it. Um, I might rebrand my channel, no German topics anymore, because I might have a crisis here now that I have to resolve. So uh, please, yeah, f forgive me, but this, this video is over. See you next time.